Hey Mara, so we're, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, noxious or nociceptive painful stimuli to help differentiate between pseudo seizures uh, such as psychogenic non-epileptic seizures or conversion coma. And you actually came up with, kind of invented or, or came up with a new idea. I think it's because you were an engineer in your, in your former life, but, uh, and which we're going to talk about. But uh, um, So we have these patients come in who are, are flailing around, having a, what appears to be like a seizure, and it's really not, it's more of a, 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 a psychological issue or psychogenic issue. Or they come in in a coma, and sometimes these comas are like, almost impossible to wake the patient up uh, when they're having this conversion coma. And so for, for, for um, decades and decades, medical people have tried nociceptive or noxious stimuli to, to get people out of, these, uh, out of these comas or these pseudo seizures. Um, and, uh, uh, and so we're going to talk a little bit about this. And, and granted, we both admit that some of these are, seem almost a little bit uh, barbaric or cruel. <laughs> On the other hand, uh, does the end justify the means? In other words, uh, these patients will get admitted to the hospital. They'll get MRIs, CT scans, procedures. Patients will get intubated. Patients will get EEGs. They'll get. Uh, they'll be in the hospital for days. There'll be neurology consults, and and uh, um, and people will sometimes even get dangerous procedures, such as again intubated, or they'll get uh, um, central lines and, and so forth. So, uh, so if you have a patient comes in who you think it's having a psychogenic seizure or having a um, having a conversion coma? Uh, what are what are some of the things on the physical examination that might make you think it's a? Let's start with pseudo seizures. Okay. Um, well, on, on pseudo seizures, you know, if uh, patients are fluttering their their eyelashes or you know holding their their eyes closed uh, when you're trying to open them to resistance, or if you do open them and they they snap them shut, uh, those are some of the signs. Um, as well, uh, you know, patients that are flailing around, having kind of a, a asymmetric, uh, pretty obvious flailing that's uh, that's not a tonic-clonic seizure. Uh, sometimes that's that's easy to recognize. Right. Um, so th those are some of the signs that you know, just by looking at the patient or doing a, a, a simple exam that you could find. Um, you know, there's some other tests that that you can try to do to to differentiate. A, a true seizure from a, a, a pseudo seizure or a conversion coma. Or a conversion coma. Yeah. So and, let's um, let's you want to go through those tests. Yeah. Um, I kind of different. You know, separate those into uh, you know noxious versus uh, painful stimuli. Uh, for the noxious stimuli, you can uh, cup uh, pneumonia capsule. Well, let's let's demonstrate it. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. We've got Wayne here. Happy to help. All right. Going to help. I'm All right. Help. I was promised a meal afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or you're going to get an A on your rotation. A, that that would work even better. That would be better. All we have is McDonald's. Is that all right? I'm good with anything. I'm not picky. Okay. Typical medical student. All right. All right. So, so Wayne's going to be our uh, our patient who uh, we won't make him uh, flail around. But uh, if he wants to flail, he can. So. <laughs> For the, uh, the ammonia capsule, um, you, know, you can either get one of the, the blue masks or you can just cup the, uh, the broken ammonia capsule in, your, in the palm of your hand and uh, just hold it over the patient's nose. And their mouth, um, yeah. And their mouth. If they're having a true seizure, they're going to continue to seize. Uh, a lot of times what you'll see in, in pseudo seizures or... Uh, Psychogenic non-epileptic seizures. Yeah, um, is that the patient will, will, will jerk away pretty quickly. Uh, of course, my phone has to ring. Yeah, that's well. That's years. that's a requirement for any videos I make. Right. You know. And I actually have to take. This go one. ahead. Go ahead and take it. I'll stop for a second here. All right. So, uh, you know, getting back to the uh, to the noxious stimuli, um, you know, we discussed the the ammonia capsule. Um, now, getting into the. Why don't you the, show the the drop arm test? Okay. Uh, so the drop arm test. Um, you know, the theory being that a patient that's having a true seizure, once you hold their, your their arm and their hand above their head and you let go, if they're having a true seizure, that, that hand's going to come down and hit them. If they're not, the patient usually diverts their hand, you know, either either beside their head or down below to not hit themselves in the face. Yeah, that's very that's pretty reliable yeah, test. It is a pretty reliable test. Yeah. But, uh, some People can learn more, it, too. Some of our more seasoned patients uh, that have been here and had this test done multiple times will now allow themselves to be... Uh, Gently, hit, the face. gently yeah. hit themselves in the face. So, um, all right, moving down to uh, some other uh, painful stimuli. Um, you know, the, the quick one that a lot of people turn to is a sternal rub. So just a, a pretty vigorous and, and 
and force a little rub on their sternum. Again, if a patient is having a true seizure, we'll continue to seize. And those that are, uh, that are having a pseudo seizure, a lot of times we'll, we'll jerk back from that painful stimuli. Right. Uh, along the same region. And, and, and part of the problem with that, though, is that you can leave, you know, especially yeah. if people do pinching or rubbing, you can leave marks on the skin, too, which obviously nobody wants that. But. Yeah. Okay. And another procedure that, that most of the time does, does leave a mark, um, you know, you can grab the patient's nipple or, or just the skin beside their, their pectoralis muscle and, and squeeze real hard. Uh, this procedure, many times, I would say majority of the time, will leave a mark or a bruise yeah. uh, in that area. Um, so patients aren't, aren't typically happy with that. So um, where we're leading with this, obviously, is we got to find a better way that is, mm -hmm. it still works but doesn't cause bruising or uh, excessive pain. Mm -hmm. Some other uh, you know, painful stimuli that, that you can do, you can either use you know, trauma shears, I, I prefer to use my, uh, my mini, mini flashlight here, but it's just uh, applying pressure uh, to the nail bed. Um, this is quite painful um, and you do one, you know, one good forceful uh, application of pressure and the patient's hand will usually jerk away or, or they'll wince in pain. And, and again, and again, this is, we don't like inflicting pain, but on the other hand, the, these patients will actually um, go on to have potential major complications, um, workups, unnecessary workups, if you can't differentiate this. But we got to find a kinder and gentler way of doing it. This and is the not bottom to mention, uh, you know, medications. Uh, medications, hitting, absolutely. Hitting these patients with, with Ativan. You see it all the time. Necessarily. All the time. People uh, get seizure medications. I, they get IVs placed. Um, and and so yeah, and it, and it'll be very easy to judge and say, oh, these guys, are, these doctors are mean and and unkind and unfriendly. But but sometimes you have to. Do, sometimes the, your interventions um, are protecting the patient in the long run. So so you actually came up with the the pseudo saline sign for pseudo seizures. <laughs> but I want you to say that ten times real fast. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> okay, Wayne, uh, is it okay if you use okay. you as a model here? Oh, yeah, that works better. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Okay. So, uh, you know, this is kind of a, a combination of something that's, uh, that's uncomfortable to the patient, uh, doesn't leave a mark, uh, it's quick to do and easy to do. Um, and effective, too. And I too. found that it's, it's been very effective. Um, so, you know, I think every ED in the country has these pre-filled syringes, or you can just fill up a 10 cc syringe with tap water. Right. You would um, probably put on gloves, right? Yeah, I would. I would have gloves on for sure. All right. Okay. Um, you know, just approach the patient on either side, and I usually um, will hold one of their eyes open, and then just inject, you know, a few cc's of water, you know, moderate to high pressure, and I've yet to have a patient that's having a, a true seizure flinch, and I've yet to to have a patient that's having a pseudo seizure not flinch because uh, it's something that's fairly unexpected um, and, and not enjoyable for, for the patient to get uh, saline uh, you know, shot into their eye pretty quick. Right. So, so, a, so a generalized seizure basic to the patient's unconscious. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're unaware of what's going on, but if it's a, if it's a psychogenic non-epileptic seizure, they complete, they're completely aware of what's going on and, and they will respond to this. So, so, so at that point then basically what I generally do is you start talking to the patient yeah. basically and, and try and reassure them that, hey, this is, this is, you know, don't be anxious. This is something that's not life-threatening. It's more of an emotional reaction to something, a stressor in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think, this is, I think this is good because, I mean, the bottom line is I don't like, none of us really like to do the, the painful stimuli. I mean, we're not, you know, that's not how we're wired. We're here to make people feel better. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we, uh, those interventions are only done just basically because you know you're protecting the patient from something worse. And, um, and how to do that most effectively, and I think you came up with a, a, a really uh, a good option. So um, we'll, we'll put this on YouTube and see what other people think. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Wayne. No problem.